Hello guys, um, in today's um, lesson, we're going to be looking at creating um, a flute background in the Pixel Lab app. Um, first, let's select the background color. So I come to the background color. Now, I want the background color to be gradient. So I, I come down to gradient. Now, I've already selected, I've already marked the colors I'm going to use now. So I'm just going to give you the color code. Alright, so the color code will pop up on the screen and make sure it's radial. Okay, make sure you choose radial. Alright, make it radial. Don't make it linear, make it a radial gradient. Alright. Okay, now the lighter part is at the middle, while the darker part is a kind of outer a bit. Alright, let's start. Um we're gonna use the bezel tool. Of course, if you haven't watched the video on the bezel tool, the link will be in the description. So we're going to use the bezel tool, or the bezel tool rather. All right, let's draw a shape. Now, we just put, like we make sure that we draw a shape that is bulgy. Now, there shouldn't be any sharp edges. Okay, so let's add the point. All right, now let's connect those points using the actions, using the um the second icon in the actions. Alright, so let's come back to this um, edit point. So let me edit the point. Okay. Making sure not to have a sharp edge. Okay, um, let's fill the color, let's fill. So we fill the opacity to 100%. Now the color is gonna be a gradient color. And um, of course I've already set the gradient down here, so I'll just give you the color code. So you, you kind of um, create the gradient using the color code. All right, let's see how the edges are, if it's sharp. Looks like one edge is sharp, so let's take edit. This edge is kind of sharp. Let's see that. Okay, I think we're okay with this. And we don't need um let's let, let's take go back. We don't need that um that stroke. So let's stroke be zero. Alright, make it bigger. Let's reduce the size a bit. Okay, let's create another um, shape using the bezel tool. Add one more point. Join points using the actions and edit points. Let's fill in gradient. Now the color code for the gradients we pop up on the screen. So use the color code for the gradients. Reduce the stroke to zero. Now let's see if there's any sharp edge. Uh, there's a kind of a sharp edge here. Yeah, let's see that. Yeah. Alright. Now let's duplicate. 
duplicate this copy I want to take it to the back first let me lock this too let me take it to the back okay when I take it to the back I want to increase the size and reduce the opacity come to opacity reduce the opacity a bit Kind of rotate it so that you don't, you don't look the same. All right. This time we need shape. So I want a circle. Of course, we are using gradient. Okay, yeah, I think that's good over there. Let me get down a bit. Then we need one more, we need more circles just to make it look abstract and fluid. -eye. Jump this here a bit. I'm gonna retain this actually. Let me keep on locking these stuffs. Let me lock them so I don't get to move them around. More circles. I'm gonna make this small a bit. Yeah. Now I want to copy this one, this bulgy one. This one. Let me, let me copy it. Yeah. Let's take it back. Take it back. Let me go to layers. Let me take it back, 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 back. First, let me lock this one. Okay, I've locked the one above. So let me take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Yeah. Let's check whether it's actually the last thing there. Yeah, that's it. It's actually the last thing. So let me go and reduce your past a bit. Let's go back to pasty. Yeah. Alright, we need one more circle. Let me lock that shape. Let me lock it. One more circle. Come to the color, choose the gradient. Of course, the color code, you already have it. This time we need something different. First, let me lock the shape. Let's take out a shape. We we'll use this triangle, but a oh, rectangle rather. I want to increase the radius to 100%. Let's see what to do with this. Let's see what we want to do with this. Alright, um, let's choose a color gradient, of course the same gradient, 
the same the same gradient all right i want to rotate this a bit i want to rotate this I want to take it back. Take it back, take it back, take it back. Yeah. I want to remove and um, reduce the opacity. Let's see how that looks like. Yeah. So let's duplicate, let's copy. Let's take it back. Let me go to send back so we don't need to waste a lot of time. So I just send back to back. Okay, copy. Then to back. Yeah. One more. Okay, two back. Yeah. Then the last circle. selecting the gradients or forming the gradient you can come to this place and just you know change the look okay so you can change how it looks and all that just i'm just messing around something in between so it looks more yeah you'll be okay with that I want to make this go back actually let me make it go back send back to back then reduce the opacity We are done. You can actually use this for an ad, okay, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Right. Um, let's just put the text on it instead of just designing the background. You can put your own text. Let's come to A, which is text. First, let me lock those things before I mess everything up. Yeah. Okay, and what should I write there? Alright, welcome to welcome to. Let me choose um before that let me pad it. The reason why I'm padding it is because there are some fonts that you want to choose that might cut out. Okay, so it's actually good to pad sometimes. 6-6 six, six is always okay. So I come to fonts. Of course, always choose something that is you know more than choose something that is visible. So I'm coming to sans serif. So yeah, 
and I want to choose um, Germanist black. Uh, yeah. Let me put a style in Italian or Italic rather. Italic. Don't mind my pronunciation. Yeah. Welcome to copy that. at the middle oops yeah and that's it and let's just add something let's just, let's just add something come in let me let me let me add a shape you see what I want to do now right now just to make it look nice Uh, let me come to texture right okay I want to come to erase color and just get rid of those white stuff there your tolerance should be 70% and come back to color make it white make it white then Go back to layer, take it to the back of this welcome. Then reduce opacity. Let's go back to opacity and make it visible a bit. Yeah, we are done. Alright, so if you're new to the channel, Please subscribe and um, we make videos on tips, reviews and also we post things on graphic design, motion graphics and all that. See you in the next video.